Greetings YouTube, Vengeance are back again with another video video. I think it's time that I speak about fairies. Fairies are a huge time sink, but they're useful. If you have one, you get this little icon up here. If you click on it, it'll show your fairy. There are a bunch of different tiers of fairies. Uh, one, two, three, and four. It really depends on RNG, what you get uh, to begin with, and then it you can upgrade it, uh, rebirth, have a chance of becoming a higher tier. Radiant is the highest tier with a chance of learning five skills, and you can grow up to level 40. All fairies get the gift skill, which makes your luck plus one. It's a good passive buff. And then they all have access to the same skills, it's just that higher tiers can learn more skills. Uh, so depending on what you get, you can get one, well, two skills, three skills, four skills, or five skills. Uh, I put quite a bit of time into my fairy and got the radiant one. I was pretty lucky in getting it. And then I used the... I used the fairy orbs that I got to re-roll. Uh, I got those through events that they did, that they gave away. A lot of times with the login rewards, you'll get a few here and there. The thing with the re-rolls, they are pay to win. You can buy them off the pearl shop. I don't know where they are in here. Maybe under pet. Oh, there they are. They has orb. So there you go. If your fairy has one skill, it takes one orb. Had two skills, it takes two orbs, and so on. All the way up to the four skills. Um, the, the gift one doesn't count. Uh, so if you're re-rolling this, you need one skill, uh, and you only have one skill learned, you need one orb. But if I was to re-roll mine right now, I'd have to have four orbs. And it doesn't re-roll all skills. It only re-rolls the skill that you uh, select. I used mine to reroll this skill to get Morning Star because I had this skill where it increased underwater breathing. I don't really go underwater that much, so I didn't really care about that, but I wanted Morning Star because it lights up. And depending on your uh, fairy's name, you'll have a couple of different. It it the name basically gives you a hint as to as to what color it's going to be. And they just have different looks and voices and stuff. I think I have my fairy voice turned off in the settings just because they get kind of annoying over time. But that's what the little thing looks like. If I turn on Morning Star, it lights up everything green because she is the green fairy. Uh, these other skills, the Miraculous Cheer is the most useful one. It auto uses potions if you have it set up. I don't have mine set up. I don't usually use potions. If I go and grind the infinite potion, and get that then I will set it up so this is the most useful one and it can go up to tier 5 tingling breath is the one I had before I think I had like 4 it didn't really use it inexhaustible well is alright if you spend a lot of time in the desert because it auto uses the uh, water and uh, tea but the three most useful ones are Miraculous Cheer, cheer uh, Fairy's Tear, and Feathery Steps. Feather Steps 5 I got really lucky with. It reduces your weight penalty. That's very, very good for people that grind or just life skillers in general. You can overweight yourself and you won't get slow until you're at 125% versus, you know, over 100. Fairy's Tear, you resurrect without losing any XP. It has a long cooldown. The higher the skill, the uh, less the cooldown. Let's see. I guess Fairy's tier only goes to four. I have three. Um, so you get one hour cooldown on it if you have tier four. Miraculous Cheer has tier five. I'm probably not going to reroll mine because it's random when you reroll and there's a chance to get these other crappy skills. I'm pretty happy with three. Uh, the only thing that makes a difference is it'll. It, Mine has a cooldown of 4 seconds, this one has 2 seconds, this one has uh, 3 seconds if it won't let me hover over it. There it goes. 
Um, but I didn't. Like I said, uh, I've got the three best skills for me. They're not perfect by any means. This one can go higher. This one can go higher. But I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, I don't use my fairy that much. Uh, the passive light helps if you're in the dark. And then the uh, weight it really helps me because I do a lot of life scaling. But the, the auto potion doesn't help me because I don't grind that much. Plus I'm a wizard. I heal myself. So I just, I'm not going to waste uh, inventory weight on potions. Or um, silver on potions for that matter. And I very rarely die anyway because of the healing. And I don't go to higher end grind spots because I'm just not grinding that much. So the resurrection doesn't really bother me. That being said, uh, just kind of a general overview of the fairies. The, the reason I touch on this is because these fairies can be very, very good income. Especially if you're life skilling a lot or fishing AFK a lot like I do. Once you have the fairy that you want, you don't have to mess with that shit anymore. And if you're AFK fishing, you're getting tons and tons of these Layla pedals. Which is going to be the subject of... It's going to be the subject of my uh, video today, is these Layla's pedals. Now see, you get these passively by gathering, fishing, you know, that kind of stuff, grinding uh, on the monsters. You go and you trade these things, if you've done the main quest, you can see the description there. You had to complete the Calfian main quest and talk to Black Spirit uh, and do the Fairy Queen uh, quest line. But once you've done that, you can take these things over to the uh, Fairy Queen and exchange two of them for a sealed Fairy Wing. And that's how you get fairies in the first place. Uh, and if you've got one that you don't like, you can re-roll it by getting a new one. You just click on it and you get a new random one. Level it up. It'll level up to skills. And... That is how free-to-play players will get better fairies, and you just keep leveling them up and re-rolling them. Uh, and then, or you can get lucky like I did and use the uh, fairy re-roll orbs that you get from the pearl shop. They will give them away on free events. I don't think they're giving any away this month. I don't see any here. See, they they give the mount skills away too. Yeah, they're not giving any away this month, but. Uh, they do give them away from time to time, and that's how I got mine. Okay, now let's let my horse auto run while I am talking about this. The reason I think these are good is because you're passively getting them if you're fishing every night like I do. You know, or if you're gathering quite a bit. And these things are pretty well useless. You can sell them for 500,000 silver, but I think that's a waste. Because essentially, if you sell two of them, you're getting a million silver out of it. But if you go and trade them in and get a sealed fairy wing, you can get a fairy, which in turn then you can trade for the uh, honey wand. And you can get anywhere from one to three honey wand depending on the level of the fairy. Or in the other case of, you can also exchange them for a fairy's blessing, which is basically like Volt Scry. And it gives you a plus one enhancement chance up to 10, I believe. I don't use them for enhancement, I would rather have the silver, so I just trade them for extra fairies, and then I trade the fairies for the honey wine. Granted, this is not a tax-free method, because you have to sell this on the market. You get the sweet honey wine here. One of them is 910,000 silver. I mean, it works out, so with the tax, you're losing... And you're getting a little bit more, but for two of the of the Layla's pedals, and these are actually lower now, but two of the Layla's pedals will get you anywhere from one to three. So you, on average, you're going to get around two honey wine per uh, two Layla's pedals. So you're looking at making more silver than if you just NPC them. Now, if you don't want to mess with coming over here and exchanging them and clicking your button 45 times, uh, NPCing them is perfectly fine. I mean, they're your items, do what you want with them. But this is where you do it at. It's right here on the map. I'm a silver temple, it's east of Heidel. 
Come up here, you talk to this lady. There's the fairy's blessing in the description on what it does. Yeah, you can do up to uh, plus 10. So if you're running low on uh, Vox Cries, you can also get fairy's blessing by doing that. 10 of them for one. So you would need 100 of them to do plus 10 uh, enhancement, which uh, this is what I use them for because you get RNG. You can get anywhere from all of those fairies that are listed anywhere from faint on up to radiant. If you get the radiant, you're getting way more uh, honey wine and it's worth it so it's kind of just a gamble thing but you can do them all at once trade them I'm getting 114 of these and you just right click open continuously and just slam away on it Looks like I'm getting a lot of faint ones. That's not making me happy. Glimmering isn't too bad. Those are the second ones. Um, <clears throat> but the faint ones are terrible. I really want to see the brilliant and the radiant. Either way, it doesn't matter to me because I trade them for the honey one. So let me get through these real quick. I only got 30 left. The only part I don't like about this process, there's a brilliant one. Uh, doing this process, it just you just gotta mash your space bar over and over again. It's kind of annoying, but the other part is the RNG. You never know. What you're what you're gonna get out of that so when you're done with that if this is your first time doing a fairy you can pick whichever one of these uh, you can see they're all different colors like black ones blue ones yellow ones green ones uh, pinkish red ones you just pick the highest grade you want and go with it uh, the one it I don't think we ended up getting any radiant ones so the highest one we would do would be brilliant and just right click it to register it but since I already have my fairy registered you can't register anymore you can only do one at a time and you can't unregister a fairy it will destroy it so I'm not getting rid of mine to show you how to do it yeah there's a brilliant one so if you exchange this you're gonna get six honey wine if you exchange a faint one you're getting one honey wine and if you do a glimmering you're gonna get three honey wine so anything above faint is worth it in terms of trading for honey wine and uh, selling on the market. It's going to be more silver than if you just NPC. You are going to get a lot of faint ones, just the way the RNG works. And then, um, well, there's another brilliant one that I missed. So we got a couple of brilliant ones. Well, that's good. And I may have even missed a uh, radiant one here and there too. The radiants are even more. Uh, but let me... You have to talk to one of these to exchange. That's four tier ten uh, horse stuff. I'm not going to touch on that. Here's where you get the honey wine. So, this NPC over here to do the Layla's petals on the exchange to get the fairies. Once you open them, come over here to this other NPC and then you just exchange them. Do them a bunch at a time. Do all the feints. Glimmerings because I don't need any of these. The other reason that this is good is because you can actually use these to level up. And yeah, I didn't get any radiant. But if you were to trade the radiant, you would get 10 honey ones. So they're they're worth it if you've already got your fairy like I do. They're they're worth it. Oh, you get 10 of them. Now what you do with the honey wine? People say not to do this, but uh, if you hit this growth button, if yours isn't maxed out, you hit growth. You can actually use the honey wine to level your fairy up and just that amount I had 228 Layla's petals and I got 181 uh, honey wine out of it you know you can probably level a fairy most of the way to max level with that that's quite a bit um, but if I put that on the market you're looking at like 130 million silver probably 
by the time you take out taxes, and then you figure it's not quite. It's like eight hundred thousand per sweet honey wine, and then you minus thirty percent if you don't have a value pack on, which I don't. Uh, so yeah. Probably 120 million or so, somewhere or other. But not too bad for AFK efficient. Yeah, it's just a little bit of silver to add to it. But I think that's going to be it for the fairy guide. I just wanted this to be a short, short little video. Not really uh, anything too in depth. Now, there are ways to level fairies besides the sweet honey wine. Uh, most people just feed it gear. You will grind somewhere where it drops a lot of like plussed up gear. Just feed it. Feed it to the fairy. Hit the growth button and select it and hit, hit, do it. Let it do it. That's how I got mine up. And I got it so far to close to max level and then I finished it off with the honey wine. Uh, but I think it is more worth it to get your fairy leveled out. And if you got one that has a couple of decent skills, I'm not going to go into the, my strategies really for doing this but the main idea is to level it up to 10 get your first skill if you don't like the first skill you re-roll it until you do get a skill that you want then after that level it up to 20 do the same thing because as you add these it's going to take more and more orbs i didn't really do that that way i got lucky and got the only one i ended up really re-rolling hard was this morning star one uh the rest of them just kind of i think i had to re-roll that one time but i got really lucky which is nice because it doesn't happen to me quite often um, as far as the luck goes. So, but that's all there is to fairies. They're a nice little passive buff. Um, and if you're looking to be free to play, you're looking for any advantage you can get without having to spend a lot, you know. And, and if you can get lucky on one fairy, then you got the passive skills and it helps out quite a bit. So there's my, there's my quick 15 minute rant on fairies. Um, you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and as always, I will see you next time.